after a few years um, experiencing what MOOCs are and language MOOCs are, um, we've seen an exponential growth in this um, topic and languages are part of it. Um, nowadays, like um, last time I counted in February, uh, there were over a hundred language MOOCs already on offer. There are two monographic volumes that have been published uh, on the topic and there are panels devoted to language MOOCs um, in international conferences such as Eurocall. So we felt it was the time to launch a SIC, a special interest group on language MOOCs. So that's how Inga and I got together and we decided to, to, to start this enterprise. Um, so we have an idea of uh, suggested areas that we would like to explore and develop um, with this um, SIG. For example, internationalization and learning of a second language through language MOOCs. Um, the technical and pedagogical issues uh, that underpin the development of language MOOCs mobile assistant language learning, how can that be implemented together with language MOOCs because we feel that they are growing in parallel. Uh, also cultural studies and um, modern foreign languages. The integration of language MOOCs in formal education, that's something very important and quite a challenge these days. Um, also another challenge is language MOOCs for social integration and employability. Um, we need to focus also on task design in language MOOCs um, because the uh, instructional design is very different in a language MOOC uh, to what we have been doing in other online courses. Also the teacher and student roles um, in language MOOCs, social interaction. And then as a final area of development, uh, this nightmare that can be learning analytics and we would like to explore and develop that as part of our special interest group. So basically all these areas are the ones that we would like to, to offer um, and um, our objectives, um, well, to gather information about this um, on ongoing research, projects that we know are being developed um, and disseminated um, through a website or some blog. Um, that is still to be decided. But definitely we want to share, share information on courses, share information on conferences, what's going on. To promote academic discussion, we would like to organize workshops and symposia and exchange experiences just to see that we are not working in this on our own, that there are other people that share our passion. So uh, we want to encourage uh, people to join us so that we can share all these open practices to collaborate and maybe uh, visit each other's institutions and set up uh, joint projects. That would be fantastic. And so now a bit about myself. Um, my name is Elena Martin Monge. I'm from Spain, from the um, UNED, which is a national university for distance education, a bit like the Open University in the UK. I teach mainly English for specific purposes and called computer assisted language learning. And those are my fields of research too. So I've been teaching and researching for over 10 years. Um, and um, language MOOCs are my passion these days. I've published uh, the, the first monographic volume called Language MOOCs uh, Providing Learning Transcending Boundaries. And I have been involved in MOOCs since uh, 2012 uh, when I co-created uh, one of the first uh, language MOOCs in Spain. Um, so I hope uh, to see you all as part of the language MOOC together with Inga, who's going to talk next. So thank you. Uh, I think you gave us a wonderful frame and I hope that it will already uh, attract all of you because as Elena told us, I mean, we need each other to really bring a richness of the language MOOCs together and around the table, an academic richness as well as a philosophical richness. I think Eurocall is therefore the perfect spot to start with this SIG on language MOOCs because it brings together learning languages and in a very dynamic and socially aware environment as well. And 
it's in England. So what can I say as a non-native English speaker? We need to be there. We need to enrich the conversations, add to the discussions and really make them the native English speakers speakers feel what it is to be a person who has a different uh, mother tongue and what it brings along. So from my experiences, bringing uh, mobile learning as well as integrating MOOCs into formal education, uh, I think it is important that we all reach out, come together, start a discussion and really lift language MOOCs to the next level it can be. And so in short, if I can switch to my native language, I would say, you couldn't more see that you say. So thank you, Elena, back to you. <laughs> well, there's not much to add other than we hope to see you in Southampton at the end of August. So please plan ahead. Uh, we want to see all your faces there. <laughs>